present this heavyweight championship fight between Mauricio Shogun Hua and Bruce Lee. Hey guys, this was Jojo Trudal showing the open weight championship between Bruce Lee and Mauricio Hua. I hope you guys gonna like it. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports no argument from me baddest man on the planet ufc heavyweight champion there he is in the flesh what an absolute monster what a title reign it has been but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen Till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Hua is seven years his senior. He weighed in at 205 pounds. He will have a four inch reach advantage. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 27 wins, 13 losses, and one draw. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out. as this fight gets underway. And it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side. And, that's the side and in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC.
seems a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. just out of range. Try to establish that jab. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. his body with that body kick. Just misses with the jab. Big body kick. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. He might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Under two minutes to go here in round one. Cable of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, that was beautifully with a straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like that, DC. You can't relate. Just unable to quite find that range. Caught the kick. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Lands with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Wild swing there. A oh, little single collar tie there. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Just over 20 total strikes have landed for Shogun Hua. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. DC, that could be pretty useful when it comes to the scorecards, potentially. Very useful when it comes to the scorecards, but also a testament to his conditioning and his cardio to still be throwing takedown attempts at the end of rounds instead of when he's fresh. All right, there's the clapper. 10 seconds to go. Five minutes in the books. Oh, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round.
All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it but by getting hit over and over in the face. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got to be very bad. His misses are Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, man. That, you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Oh, timely hook. Misses with the straight right. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Out of range with that kick attempt. Nice head kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. That knee might have landed there. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage. Boy, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Ball collar tie. Just misses with the straight left hand. Leg kick roll. Big powerful punch land. Now we get back in range. How good is that right hand? Goes to the body there. Well, he walked into his opponent's range there and ate that hook. He was unprotected, unguarded, and he's been susceptible to that hook in previous UFC fights. Got to think. Wow. Actually got the takedown. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some thrills as a ground and pound fighter. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Good punch, Lance. Ten seconds to go in the round. He's lower jaw now starting to 
show signs of swelling. Slips that left hand. Next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level control. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Ua gets touched by that kick to the body. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Ooh, look at his set. Set on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Kane Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has an opponent hurt very badly. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. You gotta check. These low leg kicks. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world class display of striking here tonight. Pretty significant as well to the left side. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Just over three minutes to go in round three. of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big kick. Both guys really throwing with authority. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. And he landed the right hand there. Ula gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. He's 
got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. So there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Looking to set up a knee of his own. Strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, that'll send your head sideways. Vicious uppercut. Oh, straight right. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eights. It is a sight to behold. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Whiffs on that offering. Two minutes now to go in the round. Back to the jab now, no good. Beautiful strike. Beautiful body kick. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Big elbow. Kick to the body by Lee. Right here. Right, let him go. Oh, let him go. Oh, let him go. Not there. Oh, oh. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on beach 
street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Oh! We have now hit the final minute of this championship fight. Checks the leg kick. Under a minute to go in round four. All right, he'll engage in a single Collis tie. Beautiful kick. Beautiful head movement, splits there. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Went inside on that leg kick, threw the jab left hook and went inside. Usually, you know, you see guys throw the outside kick there. That was nice. Big punch land. Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? Here we go, fifth and final round. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Leg kick checked by Shogun Hua. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Liver kick. Just misses with the jab there. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, wow. Huge head kick. Oh, man, now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, it can end the night that one, man. Good stick. Lee gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Swift's on the right hand. Certainly a strong front runner for fight of the night as we go down to the wire here between these two combatants. They're both so skilled. They're both so prepared. We knew right away this is going to be a very evenly matched competition. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Under three minutes remain in round five. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Slips. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh, he might be out. Got a single collar tie. That one was worth to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Smart.
switch, he lands the body. Strong kick there. Lee's kick is blocked. Cutting them down the sides with these beautiful leg kicks. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Punch over the top. High level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Hua. now in this fifth and final round. Just out of range with that right hook. Ooh, what a punch. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. the straight left hand. Straight punch land. Right hand upstairs. He's got to start losing his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. All right, so the title fight goes the distance. I don't want to steal Bruce Buffer's thunder because he doesn't like that, but and new UFC champion of the world you're looking at. Yeah, he's the new champ. No matter how you want to look at it, he did enough to take the belt off the champion. He used his striking, his footwork, his beautiful movement in order to confuse the champion over the course of five rounds. He did enough. It's time to strap the belt around his waist. decision is in it resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce Right, so we got a new UFC heavyweight champion.